everybody, guys, and welcome to another episode of Catching Up with Crypto with myself, Colin. So, as usual, as our weekly episode goes, we are looking at the newsletter that came to us today from Chainix. And we're looking at what's been happening in the crypto space over the last week, with today being Valentine's Day. So, let's go and have a look at what's actually in the newsletter and some of the highlights uh, that they're bringing to us today. So, here's the newsletter, got that today. And one of the first things I see here is that Bitcoin has been outperforming major tech stocks by an average of 12% in just the last 30 days. Now, remember the last time I did this video, we were talking about the fear and greed index, and we saw that a lot of people were fearful. We were talking about a bit of a reversal, a bit of a bounce of the um, support levels, and we've seen it start to move slowly but surely, but some positive moves, uh, while the network hash rate exploded to a new all-time high. Now, take a look at this. As of February the 13th, 2022, Bitcoin had outperformed the top six tech stocks by an average of 12%. Okay, <laughs> 12%. So, yeah, people always talking about Bitcoin, this and that. They should take a look at the figures. Yeah, they tell us also that the network hash rate of the popular cryptocurrency jumped over 30%. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you guys checked out some of the latest news, but there are two things that, that happened in the last few days. And I'm just going to open that up for you so you can have a look. Now, most of you would know the crypto exchange uh, Coinbase. And they had a massive ad at the halftime show of the Super Bowl. Now, we know that it, it is absolutely massive. As a result of that, that influx of people to the crypto exchange actually caused it to go down, I think, for like two or three hours. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there was actually too much traffic to that site. And we've seen something very interesting from Apple. Look at what's happening with Apple. With some of the new phones that they're bringing out, they are actually going to allow you to spend your cryptocurrency using Apple Pay. Now, while most people wouldn't want to be spending Bitcoin because they're still accumulating, the fact is adoption is happening because the facility is there. Okay, right. So let's let's go back. So that's on the Bitcoin side. And remember, these links over here, when I click on this, this allows me to go straight to Chainix's website and it's actually going to open up my sign-in screen. I think I'll just open it there so you can have a look. And I can then sign in and it'll take me straight to the BTC market. Okay, let's go have a look at that. And there we go. You can see it's going to take me straight to the markets if I'm already signed in. If not, it's just going to show me what's happening in the market. Um, and this is if I'm wanting to buy Bitcoin or just see what's happening within the Bitcoin chart and the movements. And we can see what's been happening um, over the last couple of days. And then also, uh, with regards to Ethereum, yeah, we can see Ethereum's average and median transaction fee slip is the lowest in six months. Now, one of the big criticisms of the Ethereum blockchain is the fact that when the network's heavily congested, the fees do go up quite a lot, with some of the fees averaging around $70 to $100 per transaction. Now, they do mention here, that from around the 10th of January, it recorded its lowest in fees around somewhere between $5 and $15 per transaction. So that's that, that's massive that it's come down. But guys, you need to you need to look at this. Uh, Blockchain.data shows that on February the 1st, Ethereum's transaction count went down from 36 million transactions to 14 million. And that's a 60% drop in just one month. So... Yes, the fees have come down, but so have the transactions, which means the network is not as congested. When it's not as congested, the fees do tend to come down. So maybe it's uh, time to take advantage of that. Again, if we have our little button over here to learn more about Ethereum. Now, when we open that, it'll actually take us to the coin landing page of Chainix, where we can go and learn more about Ethereum. We can go and check out the official website, the Block Explorer, the official social media pages, and just learning a bit more about the coin itself. All right, let's see what else they've got. Shiba. <laughs> Shiba, you know, yes, we've seen Shiba, um, you know, just 
jumping in leaps and bounds from where it was a couple of months back. Uh, they do mention here, you know, where Shiva was in September. And then we saw it really make, you know, big moves going forward. Um, people then, you know, were obviously selling. They made good profit on that. And uh, we've seen that there could be a major breakout. And this is why they're telling us Bigger Entertainment, a crypto entertainment brand, announced it will burn 163 million Shiba Inu tokens on Valentine's Day today. Now, why is this important? Because it creates scarcity around the coin. When there's scarcity, what happens to the value? It goes up. We already know that um, one of the greatest ship burns, right, was done by the Ether Network developer, Vitalik, right? And he burnt 410 trillion Shiba tokens. So now you've got another 163 million being burnt. And again, guys, if you want to buy ship on Chainix, you simply click on this link over here and it's going to take you straight to that particular market. I think I'll just open it. You see, there it goes straight through. And if you are logged in to Chainix, and even if you're not, it's going to take you to that market page where you can see exactly what's happening with Shiba at the moment. There you can see Shiba. That's what's happening on the market. And you can see what's happening with the orders there as well. Might be a good idea to jump in here. Maybe a little lower. <laughs> we'll see. All right. And then they're also talking about Cardano. Now, I know some people have um, been a bit quiet about Cardano because it seems like things are moving very slowly. But let me tell you this. Watch out for Cardano. This is still the sleeping giant. Um, these guys are taking their time to do what they need to do in the background. I think last week on the community call, I was talking about the fact that in one day, Cardano had loaded more than 200 smart contracts. So here we can see the mention in that Cardano has surpassed Bitcoin by transaction activity as the price remains in limbo. So it hasn't jumped, um, you know, too much up in value. It's sort of remaining sort of stable. Uh, it actually had the, <laughs> the nickname uh, Stablecoin as well. Uh, but here they just remind us that Cardano has trumped Bitcoin when it comes to adjusted transaction volume over the last 24 hours. So... Well, keep an eye on ADA, keep accumulating. And again, if you want to keep accumulating, there's the link. Click on it. It's going to take you through and then you can buy your ADA on Chainix. And then also, as usual, just mention our earn portal. And again, guys, when you click on that, it's going to take you to our blog uh, where they chat a bit about the earn portal, tell you the exact details, a little help video uh, as well, just to help you make the most of the platform. All right. And then as usual, we have our community calls. This was the last one that we did last week. Excellent community call with uh, the CTO of Chainix, Reino. And we had a lovely time. A lot of information shared there. So you don't want to miss our next one, which should be around the 22nd of February. Don't miss it, guys. 8 p.m. And I think that's all from us. They just mentioned a bit about the price analysis. What's happening with the price of Bitcoin? We look at the relative strength index as well and see... People are sort of moving out of the fear area. Um, not that they're going into the greed section yet, but we sort of get into a nice balance as well. And yeah, that's about it from Chainix for our newsletter for this week. So don't forget to join us next week. Catching up with crypto.